Hi guys, this is David Concise Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Chromecast Audio to replicate Sonos for a fraction of the price and have a wireless multi-room music system in your home. Okay, to start with I'm going to show you what you need to buy to get this setup going and first of all it's a Chromecast Studio which you can normally get for around 20 quid on Amazon or at Curry's. Also check out wackytv.com because they always do offers where you get them free if you download a box set. Now you can use the old Chromecast if you've got some of these lying about but this does require an adapter and a little bit of cabling but I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. Now the next thing that you're going to need is an amplifier to plug your Chromecast into. I've got a Lipi LP2020A here because I know it's high quality and also it outputs stereo but you can use any amp, you can get much cheaper about 10 quid. You just need one that's got the input for the Chromecast audio and the speaker outputs as you've seen on the back there. Next up you need some speakers so I'm trying to do this on a budget so I've just got some real cheap Sony speakers off eBay here, some used ones and then just to make them look a bit nicer I've wrapped them in some tights so that they're going to look quite inconspicuous up against my magnolia walls but you can spend as much as you want to on some really high-end speakers if you want I found these do a great job so this is what I'm using for the video and then next up you're going to need some speaker cable you can get this for about two pounds if you just use the doorbell cable which is going to sound just fine I've got that in my games room but I've got some of this nice stuff laying about so I'm going to use that okay now I'm going to show you how to actually get this set up First step, obviously plug the amp into a power source, you can see it turn on there, and also plug the Chromecast audio into the power source, and then you're going to need to connect your speakers to the amp, just be sure to connect positive to positive, negative to negative, and make sure you know which is right and which is left when you're placing them in the room. And then you're going to need to plug your Chromecast into the 3.5mm hole in the back like so. Now I did mention you can use the old Chromecast, this is what you need, you need a audio extractor basically where you plug your HDMI in, make sure it's an HDMI in and not out and then the audio is extracted into the phono leads and then you just plug your 3.5mm plug into the jack on the amp and it basically replicates a Chromecast audio. I'll put some links in the description for this video of where you can get all the components by the way. Um, this is a bit more of a clunky way to do it so to be honest I'd recommend just sticking with the Chromecast audios for this setup. Okay next up you need to make sure that your Chromecast audio is set up correctly so if you haven't done this download the Google Cast app from the Play Store which is free of course, open it up and go across to the Devices tab which is where you'll see all your currently connected Chromecasts so I've got living room, bathroom, games room and then up the top there I've got the new Chromecast which we're going to set up so click the set me up button and to do this they play a test sound to make sure it's working so make sure that your amp is turned on and the volume's turned up I've sped that up because it does take a minute to sort of work itself out and then you're going to want to hit play test sound and you get that lovely noise so if you heard it click I heard it and here you get the option to rename it so I'm going to call this bedroom because that's where this speaker set is going and you can also choose whether you want guest mode which allows visitors to connect to it if they're not on your Wi-Fi and you can choose whether or not to send usage statistics to Google next up you have to connect it to your Wi-Fi network so make sure the right Wi-Fi network selected and then input your password which is what I'm doing off screen now and then it will start to set up so this does take a minute so I've sped this up and once it's working you're going to hear that noise which means it's all set up so next thing you want to do is browse your cast apps now this is compatible with Deezer, Spotify, I'm going to use Google Play because that's what I subscribe to for my music and you're going to want to open your music up click this cast button and you'll be presented with a list of all your rooms or devices so you can see this is literally just replicating what Sonos does we'll click bedroom and you'll hear it connect there and then when we play our music once it connects on my Wi-Fi, you can start to hear the music playing. And obviously you can completely control this through your device, so you can push volume down, control the volume from your handset, and it's really instant as well with this Chromecast audio, which is an improvement on the last one. You can change tracks, and you can also obviously pause your music. So as you can see, it's really simple to set up. It's really easy to control and it's much cheaper than forking out for a Sonos system in your home. Now, once you've got this set up, you can sort of tidy it away as much as you want. This is what I've got in my games room. This is 
an amp for the games room and it also feeds into the speakers going into the bathroom but you can keep your amps hidden underneath the sofa or behind a cabinet and just keep your speaker cable tucked out of the way as well now something really popular with Sonos is group play where you can stream your music to more than one device or room at the same time and you can do this with the Chromecast Audio as well so if you open the Google Cast app scroll down to your Chromecast Audio hit the menu button in the top right and click create group you'll then be presented with a list of your other Chromecast Audios on your network tick which ones you want give the group a name so I'm going to call this bathroom slash bedroom I'll just speed this up click done and then it will basically present itself as another device uh, when you go to cars so you'll see it pop up now there it is bathroom bedroom and then if you just click that and click play it will cast your music to two different rooms so I'll show you this working now apologies for the lighting in here but if I push play now you can see it will start to play in my bedroom and then if I wander across to the bathroom sorry about the mess you can see it's playing in here as well so there's some really great functionality with this you're going to save a ton doing this instead of a sonar system yeah i really recommend it hope this has been helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more concise reviews